I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Maths class. In this class, we will learn definition of hyperbola and we will derive its equation. This is the definition of hyperbola. To understand this directly, you may confuse. So, first I will explain few things. Later, I will come back to this definition. You observe this diagram. I will consider two important things. One is fixed point. This yes, this fixed point I will name it as yes. Another one is fixed line. This is the fixed line. We will name this as L. You consider points in a plane. In what way we need to consider? See here the distance from point P to point S you observe. This is the distance from point P to fixed point. And this is the distance from point P to fixed line. SP by pm this ratio is constant suppose sp1 divided by p1m sp2 divided by p2m suppose this is point p1 you suppose this is point p2 sp2 divided by p2m that means uh, like this this is p1m p2m2 the ratio of these distances is constant suppose this ratio is 2 this ratio is also 2 and that constant ratio is must be greater than 1. You need to consider points like that. As you already know the shape of hyperbola, but whatever here it is there, it looks like a parabola, right? But you please watch this till the end, then only you will understand the definition of hyperbola, okay? Here I will consider point P. What I am saying here, SP by PM is constant and that constant is greater than 1, okay? If you cross multiply as SP, PM are distances, SP is greater than PM. That means you observe here SP, this is the point P, SP is greater than PM. You take anywhere that you need to observe. That way only we need to draw the diagram. SP is greater than PM. Okay. Now to understand this more clearly, I will take an example. You take point P here. Okay. SP, this is PM. I will take this ratio as 4 is to 2. SP is 4, PM is 2. What is SP by PM? SP by PM is 4 by 2. 4 by 2 is what? 2. This is greater than 1. This ratio is constant and that constant is greater than 1. Suppose if I take point P here, if I take P here, what condition it will satisfy? This is just an example. Randomly, I am trying to explain what is the definition of hyperbola. You take point P here, SP. This is PM. Here, this is 8. This is 4. Like that. Look here. Here, I will write here. SP by PM. What is SP? SP is 8. PM is what? 4. 8 by 4 is what? See, the ratio is constant. Here also 2. Here also 2. Ratio is constant. And that constant is greater than 1. You need to consider points like that. You take any point in this plane, in this, uh, you observe here, this blue color dots. Uh, you take any point here, its uh, distances from fixed point and fixed straight line is constant, and that constant is greater than 1, is called hyperbola. Okay. Now, actually, it this shape looks like a parabola. Na? Actually, this is not the shape of hyperbola. The definition is not at over. Here, these are the points I got now like this. I will get another set of points which satisfies the same condition. Okay. Observe carefully. As we are discussing an example, look here. SP is 4. PM is 2 I taken just to explain the things. Okay. Now, you observe here, I will consider here this length as 6. Here one more point will be there. Suppose if I take this point as P, SP divided by PM. See here this length you observe SP. SP is what? 6 plus 2 plus 4. That is what? 12. SP is 12 divided by PM. PM is this one, the distance from this point to fix a line. PM is 6. SP by PM is 2. Try to understand. So here, we got another point here also which satisfies the same condition that is you take point P here, the distance from this point P to fixed point and fixed right line is constant and that constant is greater than 1. Suppose you take one more point here. See this distance is SP, 
right this distance is sp i'll suppose this is 24 sp sp is 24 pm pm i suppose this is 12 right 24 divided by 12 that is 2 try to understand another set of points also we are getting such that if you take a, a point p here if you take a point p here its distances ratio of its distances from fixed point and fixed straight line is constant that constant is greater than one right now let's see the definition of hyperbola you see the definition of hyperbola the set of all points in a plane such that ratio of its distances its distances means from point p to ratio of its distances from fixed point and fixed straight line is constant and that constant is greater than one is called hyperbola so finally whatever the shape you are observing here this is the shape of the hyperbola now you need to know few things this hyperbola is symmetrical about coordinate axis you see here this is x-axis this is y-axis this hyperbola is symmetrical about coordinate axis because of this symmetry the same condition the same diagram we will get when you take fixed point s dash here and fixed straight line l dash here if i take s dash l dash one fixed point here one fixed line here same diagram i will get actually initially we taken this as s fixed point and this l as fixed line we got this diagram same diagram you will get if you take fixed point here and fixed straight line here right so as hyperbola is symmetrical about coordinate axis this hyperbola will get two focuses we call them as foci and it will get two directrices so i hope you understand the definition of hyperbola and why hyperbola will have foci and directrices if you like this video please drop a like and share this video with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.